Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Instructor. Today our subject is going to be adding visual interest to your blog posts using photos. Here we have an example of a blog that uses some photos in line. Um, just to give some context and maybe some visual interest to the people that are reading the blog. And uh, over here is an example of a blog that does not have any photos. Just a lot of text. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a photo service called Flickr and a special web browser called Flock in order to get photos onto our blog. Flock is free, easy to use, and it has a lot of cool features such as photo uploading, bookmark sharing, blogging, and news reading. And all you have to do is go to flock.com you click on this button right here that says download flock and it's going to know which operating system you're using and give you the right installer I'm not going to install today because I'm already using flock after you get flock all set up it's pretty easy to use I recommend making it your default browser you won't be sorry and now we're gonna go over to Flickr and all you have to do to Flickr is just click this big pink sign up button and if you already have a Yahoo ID which most people do it's very very easy to do actually I already have an account so I'm just going to sign in right here with my Yahoo ID and the first thing that's gonna happen is Flock is gonna ask you to configure Flickr as a photo service which is very cool and you just you can choose between Flickr and photo bucket if you have a photo bucket account you can always also do that continue now it's going to contact Flickr and make sure that you're authorized and over here off the screen is a button called continue again and what you can do is import your contact which is your list of friends on Flickr and you can see whenever they post a new image I'm gonna say done now from Flickr I can upload photos but also from Flock I can upload photos right up here there's a menu called view you click on view top bar photos I'm sure there's no way to get to this um, maybe not here but it's very very simple oh or you could click that photo button right up there that would be that would make a lot of sense so you click there and it goes and grabs all your most recent photos now I want to blog some photos today that I have not yet uploaded so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on uploader and it just asks you to drag some photos in here I'm gonna drag one in right up there and there it is and you just edit the title to be whatever it is that you want. You can even add some tags. What I'm going to do is add the words kebabs. Kebabs. Push comma. It'll give you another one. I'm going to add the word London. And I'm also going to add the word UK to this. And how about bingo? Because that's the blog that we're posting it to today. And then you can also crop and rotate the image from here. I've already done that, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then there's a button again off screen that says upload. Push upload and it asks you a couple more things. Do you want to resize it? Do you want to add it to an album? I'm going to add it to an album called Blog Images and then it says do you want to show these photos in the photo bar after upload? Actually what I'm going to do is cancel that because I need to add another one. And then here I'm going to click on this one. Again edit the name. Again add the tags. Kebabs. Bingo. UK and London right and we get to see this again upload do not resize photos add them to blog images and you do have an upload limit on Flickr which I believe is 650 meg or so if you don't have a paid account I have a paid account it's 25 dollars a year and I get two gigs of upload per month I never use it but it is nice when you go on vacation you have a lot of photos to upload you don't have to upload them and then wait for the end of the month and upload again I chose it because I use Flickr quite a bit upload and then there it goes it's uploading my two images and it says you're successful so I'm just gonna close this and now right here on my Flickr bar you can just refresh it there are those two images that I got so now what I'm gonna do just go over here to bingo and smoking right and I am going to edit this post which I will do I suppose right here log in manage 
edit. And right here I'm just going to go to my text box. Now I need to find the section that I want. Best kebabs on the planet. All caps. So that is this one. Oh, oh, oh. What did I do? Just going to drag and drop this right here. Um, right there. Looks good. Let me put a space. And then we're going to look for the next one which is probably the best kebabs in the UK and again I'm just gonna drag and drop this down there it's could not be simpler and Flickr requires that you include a link back to the original photo page but Flock has already taken care of that for you very very easy um, and then all you have to do is just click on save and now you can go here and view and Wemo, there's our picture. And that's all there is to it. Don't forget Flickr and also don't forget about Flock. Flickr.com and Flock.com. Flickr is spelled F-L-I-C-K-R if you didn't see that. And that's all you need to do. You can find more info about Instructor at RyanPriceMedia.com and I'm sure that Instructor.com will be up and running sometime soon.